On wheeler dealers, we've always been after an Italian sports car, but we've never been able to get one at the right price. However, a contact of mine has just put me onto an auction site that's got one for sale. So here goes. Well, our auction site really came up trumps. We've got an Italian sports car in the Wheeler Dealer workshop and I can't wait to tell Ed. Ed, we've got a sports car. Bang, bang, take that gold finger. Honestly, I wish I hadn't bought him a James Bond DVD box set for Christmas. How you doing, Ed, my old China? How you doing? Go on then, what have you got for me? Okay. Ta-da! What do you think? My new spy car, well done Q. Straight as a die, full service history. The only problem is, the bloke did say it does tend to pull to the right. Hmm. Well, we'll get it on the ramp and give it a good inspection. But sports car engines can be quite expensive to uh, repair. What's ours like? Okay. Brum. Brum. It does sound a bit lumpy. This could turn into a real money pit. Ed, me old China, I've got every faith in you. You get cracking and I'll go and get some parts. When buying a used car, it's always worth to check the quality of the brakes. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Now these brakes seem fine, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to replace the pads. When working on Italian sports cars, it can be quite difficult to find the specialist tools required. But with a bit of fettling, I'm sure we'll manage. How you doing, mate? Hello, you're right. Wow, it's looking better already. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it, if I'm honest. Great. Well, look, I bought you a present. Oh, fantastic! They'll work perfectly. Before painting a car, it's always best to prep first. <laughs> Surprised what a fresh coat of paint and new set of wheels are doing. I know, but what have you done? Well, it was looking a bit tired, so I thought I'd add some modifications. Modifications? Yeah, hidden front machine guns, armour plating at the back, and ejector seats. It's good, isn't it? Crikey, I suppose there's only one thing to do. Take it for a test drive. I advertised our DB5 for £8.50 on the internet. I've had loads of interest, but this gentleman was here first. But will he buy it? Now, you've had a good look around. What do you think, Mr Blofeld? Hmm. We have been looking for this car for many years, Mr Brewer. Have we not, Schnitzel? Good. Is it for yourself? You are asking too many questions, Mr Brewer. Well, I advertised it for £8.50, which I think is a fair price. I'll even throw in 100 rounds of ammo and a pine air freshener. You are under some misapprehension, Mr Brewer, that I shall be paying for this car. You want to expect it for nothing? No, Mr Brewer, I expect you to die. Kill a schnitzel. Oh. Oh. <coughs> what is wrong, Mr Brewer? Has the cat got your tongue?
Oh, should I say hand, Mr. Brewer? Come, Schnitzel. Some secret agent you are. Tune in next week where I'll turn Mike's Range Rover into an armor-plated, amphibious, all-terrain space shuttle. Ta-ra! I should probably get on Moonraker then. <laughs>